So in Undergrove, you're looking to create a strong, powerful forest. The forest goes from the ground all the way up. Nobody gets to start as a tree. You can't lift 600 pounds your first day in the gym. You gotta start here as just a little seedling, all right? So, each game is gonna start with this cross piece. But, as the board expands, it's gonna be different every time as you randomly draw and lay out tiles. What you're looking to do with the laying of these tiles is to create a diverse mycelium network on the forest floor, which will feed your saplings through placing little roots and eventually, hopefully, growing your big strong tree. That's the basic gist of it. Each round of play, you've got your choice of five different actions you can do. You can activate, absorb, reproduce, partner, or photosynthesize, as you can see there. And each one of these, um, there's gonna be an exchange of carbon, Purple has potassium, to that phosphate, Yellow has one or what's my blue one? Oxygen? Nitrogen. Those are the things that both fungi and plants need. This damage here means that yellow. The artwork two damage and the mushrooms are all representative of actual fungi out in the wild. We don't recommend eating any of them. And as you advance across the board by um, achieving different objectives, the first person to get to the end uh, triggers in game. Then you add up your points, which are points by your mushrooms, points by your trees. There's points all over the place because it's AEG and nothing can ever be simple because simple is for suckers. But that's that's the basic throwdown. Okay. What questions can I answer for you? What questions can I attempt to answer for you? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. One to four players, 60 to 90 minutes. That's once everybody understands how it works. Initial playthrough is rated anywhere from three to 19 hours. <laughs> so plan ahead. <laughs>
newer Fantasy Flight stuff. But the people in the room were pretty excited. They were. They were. <laughs> they seemed excited. So I, I'm happy for them. I guess. <laughs> um, and then when we were done with the in-flight report, then we made our way into the dealer hall. Um, made it pretty much all the way through it, really. Um, picked up a few games for some friends that weren't able to make it, and a few games for ourselves. Um, so we grabbed... Well, I'll just show you the ones that we got for us. So we picked up Undergrove from AEG. Uh, this one was on my anticipated Games of Gen Con list. Um, Elizabeth Hargrave with uh, Beth Sobel artwork. That one looks very interesting. And then I did get Video Game Champion, which was also on my anticipated games list. And while we were at Arcane Wonders, we also picked up Vegetable Stock uh, with the cool new artwork, which I'm very excited about. And then we also got a free game of Senshi from Arcane Wonders while we were there. And then another game from my anticipated games list, Creepshow, which I'm super excited about. I love the way that the uh, artwork on the cards looks. Looks very comic-y. Uh, they gave out a promo that was the uh, creepy convention attendee. So, excited to get those played. Um, at this point, we're... Pretty hungry, <laughs> very thirsty, and kind of tired too. Um, so we're trying to decide where we're gonna go to eat. We're trying to debate between uh, food trucks or a restaurant because we've got the BGG Hot Games room in what, like an hour? Yeah. Yep. So probably not restaurant. <laughs> probably not restaurant at this point. That might be cutting it a little close. Um, so we'll probably have to find something just quick that we can grab. Anything else from this morning that the hall was packed? Oh my, it, it felt, I was just saying, I, it feels a lot busier this year than it did last year. I think it's the same amount of people really, but I don't know why it feels so much more busier. Yeah, it, it feels busy. Um, to me it feels about the same as last year, but I, last year was packed anyway so yeah. <laughs> at this point it's you you really can't get through the hall very quickly because yeah there's just so many people in it's there like, a lot of people are making the jokes like one one step per second yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh i got a snake ring oh jeez see got one so that was on my list yep <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did stop and look at some other accessories and things too. Yep. Uh, checked out a little bit of the artwork. We skipped over a fair amount of the artwork though. Um, probably going to go back and hit that at some other point. Um, really just the last couple of rows that we did not get through. Oh, <laughs> I got a bat hair thing. I don't really know how to use it, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> just stick it right into your yeah, skull. Yeah, you like stick it right in but like that <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so let's go grab something to eat yes okay <laughs>
and get the the coin machine from her, yeah, just and then to pray for a monkey. That's what might be what I do. Um, Earl's praying for monkeys. Yeah, you do it. I'm gonna take five points. Finishes the row. That's mine. I get another coin. Oh, no, I can't. I'm making money. <laughs> it's gunners. That's how you win the game. Or this is like literally how you lose it. Oh my gosh. All that work. <laughs> you should flip that. That's stupid. Carpenter. So there are no gunners. At the end of the game. Take three points if there's no gunners in their row or count. That build up, right, from the bottom? Yes. All right. Navigator. I ain't got no cartographer. Cook. Her character in the row. So two coins. Oh, no. oh my gosh. I'm gonna flip this. I mean, maybe flip it. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh. I, I, if guy. it was the same thing on the other side, it'd be better. Uh, uh, that guy stinks. <laughs> Gotta leave room for a monkey to flip at least one. I got my Obsession promo cards and I got Z and Mike to autograph theirs. Oh, really? Milo nice. is in the middle of the game and Tom disappeared, so I gotta switch by it sometime. That's cool. Five coins, huh? That's it, that's all I got today. Okay, but. Wabbity. So we made it to the end of day one. Um, I think when we, after we last talked to you, we were heading to the Dice Tower Awards. No, Hot Games Room first, yes. right? Yep. Hot Games Room. So we went to the Hot Games Room. Uh, Board Game Geek has a Hot Games Room every year. That's at the uh, Hyatt. Um, and I really recommend checking it out because it's a great way to play some of the newer stuff that's coming out. Um, we had a chance to play The Gang, which is like a cooperative Texas Hold'em game, um, which was pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's one that I would pick up, uh, but it was, it was a cool idea at least. Um, and then we played Captain Flip. Captain Flip, right? Captain okay, Flip. Captain Flip. <laughs> um, which was cute. It was light. Um, you know, it's it's not 
probably not coming for Brass Birmingham, but it was a really fun game. It was fun. Um, pretty simple push your luck. You're drawing tokens out of a bag. You're choosing which side you're placing face up into your ship. And then at the end, you score some of the tiles on the board and see who has the most money. Real simple idea, but um, I see why it was uh, at least a, a nomination uh, for the spiel. Um, and then we played Lure from All Play. Uh, this has kind of been <laughs> the Gen Con of All Play. Uh, we've tried quite a few of their games yeah. this con. Um, I had a chance to check it out a little bit at Origins. Uh, I had it demoed to me, but uh, we actually got to play a, a full game of it. And I actually liked it more than I thought I would after getting the demo. I was I thought the demo was good. Um, and I, I thought it was a nice game, but after playing through a full game of it, I started to see a little bit more uh, of what the game had to offer and ended up liking it more than I expected, which is always nice. Uh, that was the last game we played in there, and then then we headed to the... Well, then we went and got smoothies. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> when did we go to the food trucks? Uh, uh that would have been before. <laughs> it all just oh runs my gosh. together here. <laughs> I can tell you right now, we are beat. Oh, before we went to the hot games room, that's when we went to the food trucks. That's right. Because yeah. <laughs> we only that's had like right. an hour. Yeah, we had an, yeah. yep. Yep. So, uh, we went to the... Went to the food trucks before the hot games room. Uh, got a couple burgers. It was good. Food truck, fair. Um, there are a lot of them out there that I would like to try. We just kind of picked one that had a short line because we were in a hurry to get to the hot games room. Yeah, and it was super hot outside and muggy. And, and very gross. hot. Uh, but I uh, did have somebody stop me and say, Hi, Chris. Thanks for thanks for saying something. I, I really appreciate that. that. That meant a lot. Um, yeah, then we went to the Hot Games Room, after the Hot Games Room, then we went to the Dice Tower Awards. Ooh, I went blurry. Mm -hmm. Um, the Dice Tower Awards, they started doing these last year here at Gen Con. I believe they used to do them at, at their convention, now they're doing them here at Gen Con. Um, and it's, it's a really nice show, they put on a pretty good production, uh, the, they do some skits, which are pretty hilarious Super funny, yeah. yeah um it's it's really well done uh i would definitely recommend going to i mean you're probably going there anyway but go check out the the dice tower awards it was it was a a really entertaining show let's see then after the dice tower awards we went out to uh then, we, then we went to kilroy's uh got the stuffed breadsticks which if you've been here before, you probably already know they're amazing. But if you've never been to Gen Con, it's it's a fried breadstick with mozzarella cheese and pepperoni on the inside, and they are so good. Um, it was busy in there also. Yeah, we had uh, the last table. We had to yeah, which hadn't been cleared off yet. It was just a little small, two top table, and uh, had to wait for the everything to get cleared and. You know, it, it took a while for service and everything, but it's packed in there. Yeah. So you kind of got to expect that. Um, that's one thing that, like, when things take a long time here for something like that, it never really bothers me too much no. because I know they're, <laughs> they're slammed. You could just see them running all over the place. Yeah. Like... We've both worked in restaurants in some capacity, uh, and uh, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, after Kilroy's, yeah, we just decided that we were going to come back here and, uh, more or less crash, I guess. Um, I'm probably going to start getting some videos uploaded so that I get a bit of a head start on, uh, today's video. Um, might pop on the TV, read a rule book or something, but, I mean, uh, it's... It's eleven thirty. It's, it's, it's not like it's early. <laughs> it's it feels early for going to bed yeah. at Gen Con. Typically, we're we're night owls and we typically stay up a little bit later than this. But I think just this 
evening we are just beat we're tired <laughs> it was hot it was crammed in the dealer hall the dealer hall was super busy i'm yeah. sure you'll see some of the footage in the video but it was uh it was <laughs> super crowded in there um but it was funny like some parts felt pretty wide open and then you would just hit a, a bottleneck and get stuck forever. and you'd be stuck <laughs> <laughs> um but um looking forward to going back in there tomorrow i'm hoping you know, Thursday is the first day. It's usually busy in there. Saturday is another busy day, typically. I'm hoping maybe tomorrow will be a little less busy and be a little bit easier to navigate. But we still managed to get uh, through most of the haul today, which was good. Um, you may not see as much footage of the convention center this this time around just because it is so packed it's really hard to get up close to anything um you really kind of have to bulldog your way up there to get uh to get a good look at anything um i'm i'm hoping that tomorrow will be a, be a better day for for getting that kind of footage mm -hmm. um anything else no i don't think so not, not really <laughs> yep i think we're just going to uh yeah call it a night and and get ready for tomorrow so we will see you then <laughs>